and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube uh, for some more Gauntlet. We're gonna be playing three more Gauntlet decks today. We just played we played the Battle Scars deck yesterday, and a lot of people had some good success with that. Uh, love the positive comments on YouTube uh, and some people here in chat. People getting seven wins with that Battle Scars deck. That is awesome. I'm going with three more Gauntlet decks today. Um, and uh, we have one donation deck to kind of play in the middle. So the Gauntlet's just a, a, a singleton format where you can only have one of each copy of the cards. And it's going to end on Monday for us. That's in two days and 10 hours from whenever this is being recorded for the North American server. Um, so yeah, this, this deck here, calling it Shield Wall, um, because I'm naming these decks after their expedition archetype of what the two... <clears throat> regions are so a demacia ionia draft deck if you do the expedition mode is called shield wall and so that's why we're naming it that um but yeah we're just going to be playing uh aggressive stuff with a bunch of quick attacks a bunch of challengers some good tricks some some elusives just kind of has like a little bit of everything uh running around in here um and it'll probably be a, a pretty good deck we got like mina swiftfoot at the top end which is awesome um, and then we got some great spells with Stand United, Judgment, Unyielding Spirit, back-to-back. -back. So we have some some awesome combat spells uh, to go in here as well. All right, so let's give this a try. We're going to be playing until we win seven or lose two in a row, whatever happens first. Hopefully not two in a row. <laughs> and uh, ho hopefully one of these, uh, one of these three de uh, gauntlet decks... That we're playing over here hopefully one of them will get the seven wins and get the the seven win badge the seven win badge does look pretty sweet our deck was almost all demacia and then decided now let's play some ionia in here too um we're going to mulligan mulligan and i will keep rangers resolve um warships has to be in here right yeah warships is in here yeah, it's in here. Card that I was kind of thinking about, though, was that I may have missed, actually, like, while I was just looking at that and we were just doing the intro, was Jeweled Protector. Maybe that five mana card should be in here. Hey, Srammy. All right, cool. We got a Prismatic Barrier and Ranger's Resolve to help us protect Zetterino. By my honor, you must die. Uh, I don't want to die. Um, without a sound. Without a sound. All right, I think I think the Prismatic Barrier should should do just fine. And, like, they only have the one mana to help their Fiora. I am a true master. Zed with Unyielding Spirit seems like it could be kind of broke. <clears throat> could be kind of broken. Wait, so then, yeah, because if you... Oh, yeah, because whenever Zed attacks, if you have a leveled up Zed and it attacks, it gets a living shadow with the stats and keywords, so it would also have the Unyielding Spirit as well. And so therefore, it would be, it couldn't die, so it would stay around, and so you get just another, another Zed. <laughs> That'd be pretty silly. Okay, yeah, last patch, you build a Zed Lux deck with three Unyielding Spirits with that. You have to level up Zed first, which isn't real easy to do. Um, I think I'd just go Ranger's Resolve. No. Save Will of Ionia. Oh no, now this thing doesn't die. 
Darn, I want, you know, I was planning on that thing dying and then we play a Redeemer and we draw a unit. Um, I'll just save the three mana then for, you know, like these spells that we have that are expensive. Uh, for example, this could be a great time if they tap out for me to play Unyielding Spirit on Zed. Break their spirit and their soul. I mean, what, they don't even have, I mean, they're all Demacia. They already played single combat. This is only Singleton. I don't even know of anything they would have that, that would stop Unyielding Spirit TBH. I'm probably missing something. I'm going to play it, though. My cause is righteous. You could be surprised. Hey, Dante. Thanks for, thanks for the raid. Oh yeah, we, we're un, we're gonna unyielding spirit the Zed, definitely. Oh man, we can we can go stand united and swap those. Hmm. We gotta get Zed to level up. Cause this this one isn't ephemeral yet, or like oh it, sorry it is ephemeral. It's not. It doesn't get the stats. It's it's not doesn't have unyielding spirit also yet. <laughs> it's all good, Dante. All good. Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. This is my opponent. What are you hiding? No. They're keeping me from leveling up my Zed. I fight for the fallen. Today we turn the tide of war. I don't have to worry. I mean, I have. I don't have to worry about this card too much. I have Will of Ionia that can bounce it. Zed can just block it, <laughs> and uh, they won't take any. Yeah, they won't gain any life. I have a feeling our unyielding spirit's gonna help us win this game. Now, the thing is, is I like they're playing unyielding spirit also, right? Like a hundred percent, they have unyielding spirit. So I don't want to use this Will of Ionia until I have to, because if they Unyielding Spirit something, I want to be able to bounce whatever they Unyielding Spirit. Uh, sure. I don't, I don't really need to do this. Strike for justice! No, I do not agree whatsoever that Will of Ionia is making the game bad. I think mean, it's pretty ridiculous. Do not disappoint me. I would not agree with that statement in the slightest. Uh, yeah, we should probably. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and and uh. Kill Swiftwing Lancer so that they have... I mean, I guess they could just play a unit that costs two or less. But I'm hoping they just have the one blocker. Um, well. Alright, well. That happens. It's kind of good. It's kind of good to get that card out of their hand, though, right? Because otherwise they'd be able to purify my... My living shadow. Bragging about those Demacia sorcerers. Or soldiers. Soldiers, not sorcerers. <laughs> Plucky Poro? 
Uh, trying to get that 40th playable, I guess. Please control. Yeah, I figure the Radiant Guardian is probably like blocking the Zed anyway. Don't really need to challenge Radiant Guardian over Zed. I mean, I guess I could have attacked with these. But honestly, this just doesn't real like this kind of damage just doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. We're gonna be fine. We're just grinding down all of their. <clears throat> Basically grinding down all of their units the with Zed until they run out of stuff. Show them our metal. No doubt you've heard of me. I am a true master. We're gonna be fine. Okay, how are we I wanna do this? So we want you to challenge there. You to challenge here, and uh, you can attack if you want. I'm gonna hold you back, I guess. So I guess I didn't even need to play that Genevieve Elmhart, but we're okay. Uh, it did it did heal my Zed, which is good. All right, and so now with Zed striking, we're finally gonna level up Zed. And now each time Zed attacks, we'll make a new Zed, and there's there's no way they can just deal with <laughs> unlimited. They can you know Zeds that can't die, especially because they're just a Demacia deck. Like... This game is over. Unyielding Spirit wins again. We took out like their Fiora, so they can't get like a, a weird Fiora kill. We are no easy okay, so leveled up Zed says summon and attack a living spirit with my stats and keywords. So it has the stats and keywords, so it would have the unyielding spirit. And so um so, un so leveled up Zed makes a living shadow with unyielding spirit, so it can't die. And so then, I mean, I guess you, you don't get like a new Zed, but you get like a another. We'd get another unit that can't die, right? We get a living shadow that can't that also has unyielding spirit that can't take damage or die. So that's what I've kind of been just. Eventually, try, like that's why they've been blocking so hard on the Zed and, and killing off all of their units instead of taking like three damage this whole time. Cut the breath from them. I'm I'm not. I mean, I just don't need to use stand. Dead United, we're fine. And I'm I'm saving. The, I'm never casting this Will of Ionia because of Unyielding Spirit on their their side. I am a 
true master. I don't really know why that one four is attacking because they've just given up. I guess that's them giving up. I mean, that's just that's lethal. Um. So I want to show you. So, so. Oh no, it doesn't work. Okay, yeah, because I wanted to test that out. I thought, I thought. Okay, so it's not a keyword. So I guess it doesn't have that. Okay, well that's good to know. That's good to know that that's not how it works. So I wanted to test that out. Okay. So you were right. Tiesel was right. Tiesel said that they didn't think that that would work. I thought it would work. I did. All right, we got some cheers because we got a win. That's pretty cool how the gauntlet gives you some cheers. You get some nice little golf claps there. Yeah, the, the ephemeral, ephemeral doesn't matter with if it has unyielding spirit. Uh, ephemeral isn't important because it can't die. So uh, that overrides the ephemeral clause, as you see with like dawn and dusk. That's what I thought. I thought it was going to be like dawn and dusk with that making uh, living shadows, but I guess not. All right, Demacia Noxus. Swain, Quinn, Darius, Katarina, Garen, Lucian. A lot of fives, three five mana champions, a six. I like seeing that. It's a bunch of, that's a bunch of little stuff for Fiora to, to take out. And basically, I didn't lead with Protector because I was gonna, we have like a Fiora here, so I wanted to have Protector protect Fiora. Yeah. That's good. Sorry, Green Glade Duo. We'll play you later. Sure. <clears throat> kind of felt like that was a waste or an, or an early play. Didn't necessarily need to play that that early. Discipline and steel. Zed attacks for the most on turn th for a, a three mana card. Yeah, attacks for six. So yeah, it's it's the strongest attacker for a three mana card. It's hard to necessarily say it's the best three mana card in the game. I mean, it'd definitely have to be on the short list, but when you have something like Fiora that could just win the game, you know, with, you know, backed up by a bunch of spells and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of subjective, like the whole best thing, but yeah, it, it attacks for the most. That's not subjective. Yeah. Well, just health and power and, and no abilities, it has, if you're just looking at that, it's it's a 3-2. It's only whenever it's attacking that you get anything additional. No. Three Demacia. I guess the second one should say five. They should just keep raising each other. Four Demacia? No. Five Demacia. So I could go Ranger's Resolve, Single Combat, have the Garen's fight, my Garen stays alive. Um, and then my Garen's... Yeah, let's just do that. We use two cards 
two pretty good cards. But that's my Garen staying alive and killing theirs, and we get one out of two strikes for leveling up. Probably worth it. And of course, it just regenerates. Uh, back to back. The Yordle here's with me. Oh dang, Daniel! You just went six one. You just lost to the the final boss. I'm sorry. We changed the pet to the Powder Monkey. All right, we'll be doing that, Jexian. Jexian did a uh, change the pet bonus, so we will. Three Demacians are no easy trick. My shield is yours. We will change on over to Powder Monkey right after this. Full speed ahead. All right, so I'd rather take out Valor than the 3-3 because Valor um, can't allow them to attack twice for um, Quinn. Valor can challenge like my Fiora. All right, got a couple leveled up champs. It's a good spot to be. Give me that attack token. GG's. All right, 2-0. And we're going to go to... Powder Monkey. We did what was right. So load out. Powder Monkey. Okay, here we go. Two and oh. Got another little cheer from the crowd. Straight up Demacia again. I don't think it's the same opponent, but I guess I'm not sure. I like Blinding Assault into Bright Seal Protector. And then Shen. I like that. It's just the Ranger's Resolve is the only card that I'm considering mulliganing. Um, but probably not. This is probably going to be useful in a Demacia Mirror where combat is going to be so important. We get to just save this one spell mana for that for later. No, I wouldn't say Demacia has died after 1.4, no. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. I've still kept doing well with Demacia each time I play it. I also think like Demacia is like a region. Whoa! Look at that huge cheer! Y'all get some hype in the chat. Thanks for the bits there, noise. Thank you. Um, I've got your back. I think that uh, I think that Demacia is actually like a, a way to like a good region to fight Noxus with, with having. Uh, bear, you know, having the same size of units that can handle like the the six four, you know, like the overwhelm stuff, and then you have like your barriers and uh, things like that. Uh, that looks kind of tough over there. They got they got some tough stuff going on. I walk the space between worlds. I'll turn the tide. Really? Shield up. What kind of attack is that? It's good. Eat stuff for free. attack um yeah you can attack two bright steel protector you can die that's fine you can take one for the team 
they want to block the Bright Steel Protector. They're not blocking Shen. I'm fine with that. This will not take long. Sure. Now, now my my that bright seal protector traded with a traded with an actual card, traded with their prismatic barrier. That's good. Hey Nakano, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just got a big cheer also from Noise. That was awesome. Yeah, doing good. Uh. So let's see, I, I do this. I think this is gonna work for me. I'm kinda doing this for science. So yeah, so now, okay, so we switch spots. So now the concerted strikes are striking this Valor that has a barrier, by the way. And now these are being challenged. My Garen has struck again, levels up. Uh, that also gets us three out of four uh, barrier-wise for Shen. So now Shen attacks again, we get another Barrier, another level up for Shen. Uh, round start rally. I guess it's not the best to attack with Shen. I have single combat that I could take out that thing with. Uh, I want to do that. Except four, five. No, let's just go Sithria plus Ranger's Resolve. This will also keep Shen alive. Sure it does. How about following? Uh, let's go this, this round. Because Shen says 3-3 three, three right now, but it's about to be a 5-5. Five, because five, it gets plus one, plus one for leveling up. Then plus one, plus one for... Uh, Scythria. So now it's a 5-5, five five, so it doesn't actually die to that. And now we just use this. Now Shen stays alive again. And GG's. I hope we can just keep on playing against Mono Demacia decks. That would be nice. I will keep playing against Mono Demacia all day. Until I need to go to sleep, I guess. I had to say something. So, Noxus PNZ. Could be a burn deck. Let's keep... Let's keep the partners and Mulligan the expensive... Cards. Is he here yet? Ah, they use the sh the ship. People talk about using the ships in this. Uh, in this format, you know, like Tusk Raider to go find Misfortune, and or sorry, Tusk Raider to go find Sejuani, Siren go find Misfortune, stuff like that. Leviathan for Swain. Draven's biggest fan is basically a ship. You go get a free Draven. All right, you. Yeah, you can trade with the 2-2. Two -two. That's cool. You gotta rock with your name on it. Trade with that. That's fine. All right, so they're about to play Draven. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have... Maybe I should have waited until after Lucian leveled up because I can block with Senna and have Lucian level up and then I would have had that thing die. Hmm. Probably should have waited. I don't know. Okay. They're just passing. I was about to say I'm not sure if it actually is worth... I like attacking with Lucian first. Because if they, if they, you know, would kill Lucian, then I want the Senna to be hitting hard. Look at that. It's 
tempting to just not play anything this turn and then try to untap an Unyielding Spear at Senna. If, if Unyielding Spear was still burst, I would have just done that with it being fast. We're going to instead just block here, play Radiant Guardian. That's my plan. Unyielding Radiant Guardian may end up being better than Unyielding Senna. Mayhaps. This is gonna hurt for you. That card is so good. Stand United is so good. They're dead. They're just dead now. Draven out. <laughs> Stand United, pretty, pretty great. All right, just gonna kind of keep this unyielding spirit available. Uh. Okay, maybe not. They're gonna have this gonna do like five damage right away. I don't even know. They have to have like a lot of spells. I just feel like this is pretty safe. Like, they have three cards in hand. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty safe. Because, and they can't even, you can't even, it's not like Mystic Shot plus Get Excited works. It's not even Get Excited plus Get Excited works because of the tough to begin with. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. My strength is yours! Should just be over. You will be scoured from this land! Should be over. I mean, we'll put him down to like two. No? Okay. Well. Alright, not over. Yet. I mean. We still have this Radiant Guardian. Oh man, I've had some good emotes I could be using this time. I gotta be using these emotes. We have some good emotes we could be using. <laughs> when you want a ship to go boom, you call Riptide Rex. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mike? You struggle with the gauntlet? Yeah. Gauntlets are fun, though. They're fun. Bye. You'd be good with this deck. Like this, this deck's very uh, draft feeling. This this format's kind of draft feeling. Another straight up Demacia deck. What is, what's the deal with everybody playing straight up Demacia? I don't know, but I like it. Um, oh yeah, we have Keeper of Masks in here. Give our allies plus one, less zero. Be sad if they have Ranger's Resolve or Radiant Strike or Chain Vest. 
at any of those, they could have blocked and killed my Lucian. Making the dead dead. That looks regular dead to me. Spell that? A bite to cook it. Head to the face. Eat up, friend. Attacking a little bit harder. This is the turn that I wish we had something better to do than what we got. No one goes hungry. Stand down. Huh. Okay, they use their barrier card. And how do we want to we can use either of these, Will of Ionia or Concerted Strike. Again, I'm going to use Concerted Strike because, yeah, let's use Concerted Strike over Will of Ionia because I want to say, again, because of Unyielding Spirit, I think that we're supposed to just save Will of Ionia because of Unyielding Spirit. So our Concerted Strike took out their Barrier and their Senna. We got a two for one. We both got six cards in hand. We both have two one more chefs in play, but then I also just have two in play. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm surprised by this. This is the third time we faced Mono Demacia. That's surprising. Down to ten. We'll have to see what we want to do here of playing either Scythria or Radiant Guardian. Wow, that is such a waste of a Purify. And I am very happy about that. Victory lies ahead. Alright, so that's two attacks for Quinn. We'll gain four life, not five. Now we'll gain five. If they would if they would block with the Vanguard Cavalry, we gain four life because of the tough. Alright, my plan is to throw away Sparring Student and War Chefs in front of these two if they just go straight to attacks and just let both of those die. Oh, Lucian's at one out of four, not two out of four. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. That was the plan. Courage masks the heart from fear. Their pride will cost them. I want to use. I want to use Will of Ionia. Strike hard, strike true. That'd be an easy bounce. We should attack with both.
yours. All right, so that's three out of four for Quinn and two out of four for Lucian. Looking to, okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, we got we're the one with the champions over here. One banner, one we can have some big stuff, it's all good. I can bounce this Vanguard first blade and turn it back into a 2 2 if I want. Soldiers to me. I guess if they don't do any attacking, I certainly want them to attack. That does make my life worse, because now they, they're just setting up next turn for Demacia. That doesn't make my life worse. Um, right on! Just like hunting thresher geese. So neither of those things kill either of my champions. Or not either of my champions, either of these attackers. Patience makes perfect. Head to the face. I guess I should do. Him. Justice takes flight. Oh, maybe if I would have done these first and then Sithria, I guess this would have come in come in first and then and then Sithria's ability would have then pumped this up to a, a three, two, maybe. Maybe we need to attack with Quinn before Sithria. I didn't really consider that. I didn't consider that. I was thinking it was gonna be a three two, but. Uh... Uh, all right, all right. Play I did not want to do. Me. Oh, Valor, where are you going? Can I have seven things in play? Looks like I can have seven things in play, right? Oh no! Valor! I was hoping that Valor could just like hang out there, you know, grab some popcorn, get the best seat in the house. But this Lee Sin being super rude and just kicked Valor. At least I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Soldier to me. Oh no. That is annoying. It is, it is. Like, my judgment doesn't even kill things. Hey, morning tea time. Attack formation in the name of our land. Justice by my hand. Probably gonna just lose to Demacia after <clears throat> after trash talking it a little bit ago. Uh, let's see. Walk 
There, there, there. Four. So just using this to kill three things. annoying actually this this combo is actually a little annoying because I could I could attack with Quinn and I get a valor and and the valor dies and so then we would rally but this is already the scout thing so we'd rally anyway so we just waste that rally um this is mercy. so we might as well just attack with Lucian also so we get use of the rally I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess I could have got a little bit of lifesteal, I suppose. Uh, the last turn. Let them hit me, and then yeah, I could have had five more life. Don't don't know if that really matters. Didn't really think it did. It was it wasn't something that I really cared that much about. I was scared about not dying, not taking twenty then. Okay, we are five and zero. Oh. First gauntlet of the day today same law yeah we, we played one yesterday right right whenever we went out and and we didn't do good yesterday with it but a lot of people said that they played the deck and did really well and got seven wins with the deck that we played yesterday so um success <laughs> yeah that was close that was close uh all right so we're playing against another demacia deck this time splashing freljord um We'll get rid of Will of Ionia. I, I hope they don't... I really hope we don't get Unyielding Spirited. But there's, you know, there's only one Unyielding Spirit in their deck. And we need... We need units to play on turn 2 and turn 3. Oh, I guess... I guess need's not the right word, because we don't get it, so... Want units to play on turn 2 and turn 3. Lucky Warshafts. I would love to have a Warshafts. I thought we were going to draw Warshafts. Alright, got your back. You're in for it. You're in for it. We're trading, we're trading Twin Disciplines for Mighty Poro, <clears throat> three drop for three drop, and we're trading, you know, our two drop for their two drop, so uh, both good. We just have, we have a one mana card still. They have one extra mana.
And then maybe next turn we block with Sparring Student, it dies. Remembrance costs five, so three of them, you know, for turn five, and then three on six. the attack with the Shen. Just to get one out of four towards the level up. Probably not worth it. <laughs> Everybody's playing Pucky Poro. What is this? They just think, I, I need to play a one drop. Let's just play this card that's going to do nothing. This is like the third opponent we've played against with Pucky Poro in their deck. I don't even I don't even have this Cythria in my deck. Slower format, you need to be able to take over late games. I just don't want this to go to three, and then their three one can trade with it. There is no dispute. But I I want this sparring student to die, of course, because of remembrance. Radiant Guardian, his friend, Swift Wing Lancer. That's a good one. Ooh. Now Valor or Cythria. We'll go with Or sorry, Quinn. <laughs> it's not not playing Valor. We're getting a Valor, but yeah, we'll go Quinn with the Valor. We get to keep Ra Ranger's Resolve up now too. If we need that. Soldier to me. Soldiers to me. All right, we'll take you. Why would I not just take you? Better. And then challenge there. <clears throat> Good to have the challengers with Shen. Alright, that worked. And we still have some awesome tricks with back to back and judgment. For the honor of my house. We have to be a little worried about playing judgment and then they respond with judgment. At least that's what I was going to say before they spent a bunch of mana. Uh, they attack. Do I, do I want a judgment right now with the 5 4? They could, like, frostbite. Frostbite would be rough. Maybe they just play Cythria. Do some blocking. Just don't really have anything to block their Cythria. Nothing stands in our way. to try and Understood. kill this, kill this, kill this. That's far enough. Block here. Could kill that instead.
wasn't the, you know, wasn't the the best use of getting getting rid of a 6-1. Block Cythria. It's the only thing they can block. This is pretty pretty good time to try this out. It's gonna be difficult for them to kill these. Couldn't use a fight spell. Could only have like detain or or again they could have the frostbite like uh, harsh winds, you know, and then I'd be sad. But we'd still have all you know we'd still have like those champions of play and everything. They wouldn't be removed. So. Thought it'd be perfectly fine to try that out. Okay, 6-0. We only get one chance to get our seventh win. Coming down to this. 6-0. We have played against four Demacia decks. Four base Demacia decks. And that has made life a little easier. Something different. Nautilus. Maokai. Could be tough. Alright, come on, give me a two drop. No. More chefs. Not the best hand. Yeah. Never mind. It got better. Spell that? A fight to cook it. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Danger paid. Hmm. I try to think of four one. Hand to the face. Got, got a few different options to deal with that. I mean, I could have, I could have challenged and used my my radiant strike and tried to kill it, but then my Fiora would have one health, um, and they still had the three mana, and they they could use you know like Bile Feast or anything like that. You know, they could, they had things they could use. Uh, as far as us, I can either go Repost or Concussive Palm. What? Alright, well, we'll take that trade. Two worlds, one balance. They have a lot of spells they just drew. Without a sound. Man, it's just too tempting to play this thing. Definitely wish we had one more mana and we could play Repost also. One card. They have a bunch of the, you know, so they have a bunch of fleeting cards this turn. I mean, they have at least two more fleeting cards. I think we're getting our seventh win, and there we go. Seven and O. Oh. I'm guessing their hand must have been just a bunch of expensive, expensive cards, and they had nothing else. That had to have been it. They just had to have a bunch of sea monsters and stuff. Gauntlet complete! 7-0. Get that 1100 extra XP. And now we have... Uh, let's go get some loot. We got the new badge. Um, Gauntlet Conqueror. There we go. Singleton Gauntlet 2020. Awesome badge. Um, yeah, can't can't say too much bad about our deck. I don't feel like we played against the best decks. Like that that's something. Like to be fair, it didn't feel like a lot of our opponents were uh, playing optimal stuff or or you know that kind of things. But 
that's what you're gonna find with gauntlet like the gauntlet's like everybody's playing them you know any you know you're not like i'm not only just playing against like masters players all the time you know you're playing against um people that are newer as well um but uh yeah this deck felt pretty good uh got shield wall I mean, you you have the same number of champions that you have in a regular deck. So you're like, yeah, I, I got I drew some champions, but I mean, it's just nor normal decks. You can only play six champions, and playing six champions here also, it's there's not anything di you know not anything different about that. I I have lower to the curve champions though. I got one two mana one, two threes, a four, and a couple of fives. Um, so you know, like we got we got some lower cost champions, but. That's not that's not a, that unusual to have three champions in the first five turns, like we did there um, in a, in a normal game. <clears throat> All right, but but there we go. Uh, deck code ex the you can find the deck list right there. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, if you're looking for another a deck for the Singleton Gauntlet. Um, give this a try. You know this this looked great. You know we won all seven games there pretty pretty quickly too. You know one hour to get through the whole gauntlet. Not too bad. Um, anyway, that's it here for Shield Wall. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.